Alright guys, how's it going? Well, today we are playing a serious deck. Yes! It's time to get serious. Uh, today we are playing Mono Black, the, the meta version of Mono Black Aggro. We, we are going to try to ladder. Yes, try to climb the ladder and get back to Mythic. That's the idea. So, let's do this. Uh, first of all, remember to like and subscribe. That's very important for the channel. And... Let's take a look at our cards here. Well, our our battle plan, our strategy, I might say, is very simple. We want to put our one-drop creatures down as fast as we can. Turn one. For the second turn, we have mainly the Black Lens Paragon as a way to uh, put it with Flash and managed to get a, a four a four damage attack in the third turn which will give a counter to the knight of the Abel legion things like that we also have in a two drop eliminate to eliminate early threats kite seal freebooter which i'm considering putting another copy of this one uh, grasp of darkness to also uh, get rid of things in the tree drop, yeah, it's in the tree drop that this deck starts to really work. Rotting Regisaur has done wonders already and is still doing, especially if it has an ammonic embrace in it, which will give plus three, plus one, and flying. And the thing is, the Regisaur is going to ask you to discard a card in the start of your turn, right? But well, with demonic embrace, you can just. Uh, discard the demonic embrace and cast it from your graveyard paying tree life which is not a, a big cost actually uh, also actually in the tree drop spawn of mayhem yeah because it has spectacle tree so this guy is probably going going in and turn three uh, for the four drops rankle master of pranks to you know Get rid of those grinder matchups. For the lands, one mobilized district, which is more useful than you think. And two castle lock veins. Let's do the thing. Hmm. This is a decent hand. We don't have a two drop actually. But well, I would keep this hand if it had if it was a mulligan and I didn't have a registrar, for example. So I, I guess we are keeping it. Let's see what our opponent is playing. Oh, Island and Go. Okay. I don't really know. But well, let's put our Knight of the Abel Legion down and say go. Let's see what they play. Oh yeah, it's probably ramp. Some kind of ramp. Well, let's attack. Because that's all we can do right now. Uh huh. All right, now they are going to. All right, it's Flash. Haven't played against Flash yet. Uh, probably a pretty interesting matchup. Let's see how we do. Every turn counts if we are playing like this, you know. Every single turn counts. So we'll, we will attack and see how do they block. If they cast something, uh, the Brine Babe Cutthroat is going to be tougher. Well, let's see. If, if they want to trade, we'll trade. It's okay. Uh, if they don't, if they cast something, we will activate the ability of the knight, I think. Let's, it depends on what they cast. If, they, if it's an octopus, well, that's a sure ability. But if, the, if it is something else, we'll have to see. Okay. This is actually good because they now don't have mana to counter our Rotting Resort. Which is coming down right now. Let's see what they do. This is Simic Flash, actually. Or not. 
A wilderness reclamation. Huh. Well, what do we discard here? Hmm. Knight and Diabon Legion looks like it's not going to do much in this matchup. And I'm not so sure about uh, taking 3 damage right now. So, I will play a little bit safer? Or not, maybe. Maybe I could just play the Knight and a, another Regisaur. Or maybe uh, even a Spawn of Mayhem this turn. Or a Rankle. Oh, this is too much. Mm -hmm. Let's think about this. Well, I think the, the Knight is going to... Is not going to do much here. So, the Knight goes. We can maybe attack. Yeah. And see how they respond. Okay, they took it. Good. So, now... Well, uh, I guess we should have kept the knight. But, well... Okay, let's let's just put the register here. Uh huh. Rewind. Okay. All right. A borrower. Nice. The thing is, the borrower can't block things that don't have flying. So, either they prepare to block this, or they're going to have a bad time. In terms of card advantage, we are doing really good, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Well, I guess we are, we'll are. we discard this Demonic Embrace, because I think Rankle is going to be better here. And we attack. Well, let's make each player discard a card and sacrifice a creature. Yes. Well, we'll discard this Demonic Embrace and sacrifice Rankle, because we have another Rankle in the... Yeah, I guess we stalled them. This is good. If they don't have a good answer now, they're done. They'll probably have to keep this to block, and they'll have to have very good things in their hands to not uh, die this turn. All right. Uh, what is this, a Hail Mary play? Hmm, what you doing? I've seen some of these uh, Simic decks with wilderness, wilderness Reclamation some time ago. Okay! It's a very big shark! No problems. We'll discard the Spawn of Mayhem and play a Rankle. And this is... This one is in the bag. Done! Great! All right! Pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, this is a pretty good hand, actually. Well, you guys are probably thinking, why does this guy play a mono black when he could be playing Judd Sacrifice or maybe Rakdos Sacrifice, things like that? Well, the answer is quite simple. Uh, those decks suck. They're incredibly strong. Yes, they are. Uh, but I, I think they are the most boring decks Standard has seen in a long time. I think they are some of the most boring decks uh, ever. Right there with KCI. Yeah, well, we're going to give an embrace to this guy. And attack. And pray that they don't have anything good. <laughs> Please don't swipe the board. Am I gonna need it? Ooh. Okay. Huh. This is interesting. They did nothing. 
Well, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can't really kill them right now. So I guess we'll play a wrinkle and attack and uh, discard something from them. This is probably another Simic Flash, right? Or something like that. All right, a shark. Yeah, you got a shark. Well, it's not Simic. It has white mana here. Uh, is that a... Ooh, they're going to swipe the board right now. Probably. Yes, yeah, shatter the sky. Good. Yes, we... Uh, we're in a weird position here. The thing is, we have many rankles in our deck, so this might not be so much of a problem. Okay, re resolve this. If only we could manage to put one damage in the bin. Well, let's... Let's do this. Let's give it a demonic embrace here and put lots of pressure. So if we draw a wrinkle or something like that, we won. And if they shatter the sky here, we also are in a good position because, well... They take two, we draw a card. ECD! Alright, the thing is, they'll have to target the demonic embrace. That's okay, actually. Because our strategy is back on the board. My turn. Okay, so. We can Demonic Embrace this guy from the graveyard. Yep, paying free life and discarding a swamp. Then we attack. And... Would this work? Destroy target creature or planeswalker with converted mana cost 3 or less. So, this one's eligible for that. And when it dies, deals 2 damage to each opponent and you gain 2 life. So, we will do this! Yes! We are crazy! Craziness! We won! <laughs> Alright! That's it! That's it! All right, what have we got? Gutter bones on turn one. Well, yes, I guess this is a hand. Or maybe serrated scorpion. Depends on not what what they're playing. Well, this is a good case for a serrated scorpion on turn one. Possibly mono red detected. Shocking! Ooh. Shock away! Uh, yeah, rubber of the rich. It was expected. Haha! <laughs> Rub the swamp. Jokes on you. Not, a, not gonna let it attack too much. Oh, an annex is coming. Is that it? Annex. But before that, we'll eliminate the rub of the rich. An annex is not a good threat now. This is a big threat. <laughs> do, I'm not sure how to deal with this. How do you deal with this? I don't know. For a mono red? Don't really know. I'll discard the gutter bones. Okay, so now. I'm thinking about, well, how explosive could they be in one turn? Well, they could, uh, well, they can't really kill me in one turn, so I'll just Demonic Embrace this guy and attack and hope for the best. Okay, we got shocked. Starting to feel it. Can it deal 18 damage in one turn? 
I don't think so. Yeah, because they're gone. Good. All right, let's do this. This is a great hand. I'm feeling lucky. The guy has a dredge. Uh, I don't know. Card protector. <laughs> All right, we are playing knights. Is that it? Knights or possibly a uh, white weenie. Hmm, how do we deal with this? Well, I guess a girder bones is going to going to be alright. Better than the Knight of the Abel Legion. Because I don't really want to trade the knight. Girder bones? I don't have any problem with it dying. Okay, it's knights. Mm -hmm. Well, what is our advantage against knights? Do we have an advantage? Well, for starters, let's kite say freebooter, they probably don't have anything, but we can use it to block the fervent champion. So I'm pretty confident in attacking here. Well, another fervent champion from the top of the library is just too much, man. But it's okay. I've dealt with worse. Yeah, I guess I'm going to trade here. Don't want to get my life too low. Okay. All right, let's we'll have to manage this one. This is a management fight. Ah, man. Resolves, but it won't attack. Well, let's throw two at this guy. This is a good play against the fervent champion. Hope we don't die. We should draw. Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's do this. Okay, curry favor. Another curry favor. Then we are dead. Aha! Uh -huh. Blacklands Paragon. Great combat trick. Okay, Sword Master is down. We are dealing now with top decks. Well, I guess Ranko attacks. And we'll make them sacrifice a creature. We'll sacrifice gutter bone, uh, bones, actually, because Serrated Scorpions is a good blocker, and we now we need to block. They're probably not going to deal five damage in a in a snap. Let's see if we can turn this around. I'm blocking it. Do you have an Ember Cleave or something like that? That would be... Oh, fight us fight one. No problems. I need life. Good, so now, what do we do? Hmm. I don't really want to discard this or anything, so I guess I'll just attack. And then I'll revive the Girder Bones. And leave this as a blocker. Done. Nothing. Let's see. Let's see. K. 
can we do this? Oh, desperate measures. Cool. Yeah, I'm not too happy on seeing Castle Ardenvale Arden vale here because they can generate tokens and that is going to slow us down. Okay, let's trade. I need uh, that tree life. I know I could just uh, take the two damage and attack and try to be happy with it, but I'm not so sure, so... Well, I'm attacking. This guy's coming back every turn now. And you will sacrifice a creature. No cards in the hand, right? Right. So you sacrifice a creature. Okay. And now... It is back. Let's try to win this one. Uh-huh. You want it? Uh, yeah, I thought that he, uh, they would use the custom art veil to make a token and sacrifice the token, but doesn't seem so. Any top deck here is going to be great. Well, maybe not that great, but well. Uh huh. But I'll deny that. The thing is, if you kill them uh, before they can block, yeah, that's what happens. Good. Great. Okay, I can deal with this hand. Ha! Missed it! You asked for it. You asked for a Knight of the Abon Legion. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. No attacks for now. Let's build a big board first. Alright, uh, well, I guess this is how we block here, because, well, I'm not sure what do they have in hand, but I would like this guy to die, and this guy can die too. So, they'll probably just activate Knight of the Abel Legion. Oh, eliminate! Okay! I guess it's a match of who can do it first, right? Yeah, they will activate one of the knights. We'll take four or five. But it's okay. For the next turn, we have nice surprises for them. Yeah! Okay. Good thing they did. Don't do that, you know. Don't put the mana down first and then attack. Because if you do have uh, something in hand, this could change my process of thinking. So, well, I guess I'll put a, a Paragon down. Give itself lifelink and death touch. It will block. 
one of the knights, and the other knight is going to be eliminated when it when it activates. Yep, not gonna activate it, pal. Yeah, I guess it's a good game. It's the best game. Great. Great. All right, let's do this once again. Uh-huh. This is a hand. Let's do this. Out! Okay, I guess we'll start with gutter bones? No, we'll start with Knight of the Abon Legion. Or do we start with gutter bones? I guess we can start with gutter bones. It's more aggressive. Let's be aggressive. That's why it's called Mono Black Aggro. Okay, here he is. Arboreal Grazer. I don't like that, because this way, this is not as good, and this is also not as good. Nah, nothing is as good if you have an Arbor Arboreal Grazer on turn one, so don't underestimate it. Yeah, this little guy can do stuff. Okay, Grove Spiral, four lands, now they can activate this and cast something else. Uh, I'm getting tired of all this ramp. Good thing this guy is going to rotate out and this thing too. Yeah, uh, next turn they can, I don't know, Nissa? Possibly? But okay, okay. Let's give an embrace to this guy. And offer them a choice. Yeah, they missed it. On turn three. Is this okay to you? The land for us. Well, I guess we just keep attacking. Keep attacking face. Well, I don't mind gaining six life here. Good. Next turn, it's possibly okay. If they don't play a giant crisis, a giant crisis is. Probably one of, the, one of the worst things we could see here. Okay, casualties of war? Well, I guess. We have no choice, right? We have to get rid of this. Well, I guess we'll attack face here and get rid of Nissa. There's no other way. We can't manage to have her there. And they are going to Uro now. And things are going to be tough. For the Uro? Ah, for Crazes. Wow, well, okay, I guess. Ooh. 
Well, we could leave this eliminate for the Uro. However, I want to get rid of this. You want to block? Fine with me. We're relying on top decks here, folks. Yeah, a demonic embrace on top deck would be top notch. Okay, that's an Uro. Good thing Uro doesn't have reach. Uh, not what I wanted. But still, we are on the game. They'll have to get rid of this. All right. Oh yeah, if you listen to some animals in the background, uh, I'm on a farm. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my in-laws. Oh, not again. Okay, this is just too much. Yeah, I guess we will. Put an embrace in this guy. Discarding this thing here. And attack. And that was... Oh, no disrespect to the player. But sometimes we do these mistakes. He should have attacked with Uro. He should, because, well, a, a, an additional card plus an additional land... That's pretty good. It can save you sometimes. So yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, now for the wrap-up. Man, this deck is good. This deck is good. I think that Grasp of Darkness could go down and we could use another Freebooter here. Yes, Freebooters are good. Uh, the meta is full of control decks and they are going to stall them. It is also good to block more aggressive decks like Mono Red. So... Yeah, this deck also deals pretty okay against very aggressive decks like Knights, Mono Black, uh, Mono Red, uh, and it also can prove itself worthy against Vent and things like that. So yeah, check it out. Do it. See you guys. Like and subscribe. See ya.